Hey guys, still here and welcome back to From the Depths. We're jumping right into the action. As you can see, we're still being engaged and that means trouble. Now, ideally, I want to capture the craft that are currently attacking me, but I don't want to take too much damage while doing it. So I'm going to have to find a decent uh, medium uh, or middle ground. And for now, I just want to get rid of some of the guns on this weapon or this uh, craft over here. There's also another one out there that also needs to get captured. And let's see, the missile launcher on the stern should be ready. My little harpoon gun. There you go. That's that thing mostly pacified. That's the Jacob Treehouse. I'm just going to send the shell that way. Just knock off. I think that was the detectors. Incoming shells get neutralized. Yeah, there's still a turret on there. That needs to go. Are you going to ram me? Do you really think that's a good idea? I'll let you know when it's time to ram. And that time is not yet now. I just want to hold on to you for now. Oh, I almost got the turret. That's the thing that I was hoping to get. Oh. Well, that thing is going to have all sorts of issues. As it is dead. Any other capers? What are you? That's a fairly sizable gun you got there. And it's using it. Oof, narrowly avoided. Okay, this one's coming with. That's clear. We're gonna have to do something about those guns. Anyway, uh, now that I'm free cam, I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to see where their AI is. So I can just walk up to it and say, Hi, you are now part of my craft. That's the propulsion. That's their engines. Where's your AI hiding? Because I really don't want to do this for too long. This, uh, well, literally stringing the guy along. Hello? Is this just your keel? Yeah, it has to be. So where's your AI? Is it down here somewhere? Compartments? That looks like a boiler. That's a weapon controller. I wonder. Um, if I give my ship more hearthstone blocks, is that going to help? It maintains efficiency, great. But what I want is to generate a larger profile, if you will. I'm not sure if that's the right term for it, but I just want to make sure that I have a larger area of effect from my hearthstone. Now the hearthstone is something I parked over here. Uh, yeah, that's it. Now I have quite a bit of it. Now that I'm in build mode, by the way, I might as well make sure that I have an easy way of getting out. This is not it. Um, I think I can walk right past the screens. But then I still need to get a way up. Just jumping to that ladder, or jump, sorry, through that door? Nah. That's uh, less than ideal. Building a, a stairs here might work. So let's go with the stairs. Right. And then just double back, I suppose. Any more stairs? What are stacked stairs? Decorative. I'm sorry, I don't do decorative very well. If it doesn't have much of a function, I'm not interested. So, stairs. Um, that way. I would not recommend letting me design the stairs for your house because you might find that they're not terribly well built. 
it's going to be, no, it's going to have to be here. There's going to be stairs. I think I'm being engaged by cram shells, considering how quickly those guns are constantly going off. All right, then door. Uh, bulkhead alloy. Fine. They should be able to do it. And then the stairs. So spin that round. I'm not even sure if this is how they're supposed to be positioned. Something is still blowing all sorts of... Oh! Well, that's just being rude to your host. Don't be like that. See, that's a good... That's a good boy. Shooting the ship that's coming at me from behind me. Not sure what it is, but it appears to be two. Oh, it's a Mott and a Coyote. Let those guys figure out what they want to do with each other. I'm going to try and capture the other guy. Now, I swear the game is not running slowly. Okay, maybe it is. <laughs> Here's me opening the door. <laughs> Out of a, a large chunk of the hull that's just missing in action. Uh, metal... No, that's a bit too much. Because that's where the door is going to be. So, like this. Three meter beam. Bit of a patchwork here, but so be it. And I want the door. Standard door should be enough. I know it's probably not the most healthy, but for now, I just want to get this thing deployed quickly. There. Oh, I still forgot one block. Fine. Um, this was a four meter, two meter, two meter. All right. Now we have the guy. I have my suspicions about where its command center is, but I don't exactly know. So I'm taking a bit of a gamble trying to figure out where that thing is. Let's open up the hole a little more, so maybe I can just look in and find it. Shit. My winch got destroyed. Oh, it's a good thing I didn't jump off then. Blow off the propulsion. Make sure they cannot go anywhere. That's one side. You're stuck here, buddy. You're staying with me. Oh, and that turret needs to go. Goodbye. No! You're too damaged. No, 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 no. Oh, there goes that capture plan. Crap. Not what I had hoped would happen. But hey-ho, um, there are multiple ships out there that might still be capturable. They might need a little convincing, though, as they're probably not going to come gently. So, let's see who we have. I did get a decent chunk of supplies from them. Let's see who we have and deal with them. Spin that main gun round. Turn starboard. And uh, just point the, the big gun in the general direction. Our 500mm railgun. Now, this is one of the episodes, by the way, that I'm recording directly after the previous one, which means that the previous episode has not yet been published. So any suggestions that you might have made on the previous video are not going to get implemented in this one. Let's just do a bit of damage to it, or not. Maybe I need to get rid of the coyote first, the smaller guy. Because then... <laughs> Because then I can focus a bit better on the big guy here. Is he carrying much at all? 125,000 materials. And you're still carrying an 118. 
Okay, yes, please. If you don't mind, we are going to try and come over to board you. Incoming shell. I was not really talking to him, but here we go. That's another chunk of the hull gone. And Lucy is. Now, I've been getting some comments on the, the video where I made the railgun that said, hey, it's nice that you have a railgun, but uh, it's not going to do you too well with future threats. That's all well and good, but I really currently don't care about future threats. I care about the threats that are out here now. And for the threats that are out here now, as you can tell, it's doing quite effective. It's, uh, well, there's probably better ways of doing the damage. But I, for one, rather like the way that the 500mm railgun is behaving itself. And I think that I'm just going to hang on to hang on, blah, hold on to it for a little longer. Uh, could somebody take that cram shell out, please? Or can we just not aim up that high? Ooh, you got a laser system. That's going to make things more difficult because it means that harpoons will get shot down. Won't they? Oh, no. I don't want to ram you. Give me weapon three. Harpoon reloaded. See? Immediately gets nuked. Okay. So you have a sort of fancy weapon system here, huh? I'm not even sure where it's firing from. Is that it? You know, I could convince this thing to just not use that anymore. Stop ramming into me. Cut that out. The problem is, I might damage it too much. So I'm going to sort of try and take chunks off of it. It's still trying to come at me. No. And it still has armament because those cram mortars keep firing. And they actually hit this time around. That damaged a portion of my railgun. That is fairly unacceptable. Fortunately, the railgun is still operational and is immediately getting repaired by my repair bots. But I still don't take kindly to getting my railgun blown off. Alright, buddy. Still don't want to ram you. But I do want to see if I can fire the harpoon without it getting shot at. Yep. Yeah. But the harpoon didn't latch on. For some reason or another. Come on. Come on. I could very easily kill this thing, but I don't want to. I want to cap it. There's too much supplies in there. Gotcha. Now you're mine. Alright. Just to be on the safe side, time to save the game. Now. Off we go again. This time around, I hope to find the AI without more or less intentionally... Whoops! Without blowing up the craft that I'm trying to cap. Come on. I should probably move the door to here. Fuck's sake. <laughs> There's our craft. Our uh, newest addition to the group, although it doesn't know it yet. I'm not sure what that is. Seems to be pretty volatile. Still no AI. Hello, where's your AI? I'm trying to find that. Mm 
ammunition warners are probably the ones that are being used by the lasers to figure out when there is a missile coming in. Oh crap, I'm still doing 8 meters per second. It's less than ideal. No! No, 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 no. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it like that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's just that I don't really have the health to just... Uh, to try and jump off the ship and cap it. How much did we get? 20,000. Jesus. Could have gotten a multiple of that. Like a lot more. Damn. Alright, what I'm going to do is add more missile launchers here. I want to make sure that this thing can take on bigger and better targets. Of course, it has to be connected to the missile controller here. There we go. Unfortunately, IFF's in the way. Uh, we do need an IFF. Really. We also need a couple of those harpoon winches. The thumping you can hear down below, by the way, that is part of my um, steam system. Cable line, 3,300 meters. Cable drum, 3,900 meters. And then we're going to end up with a harpoon. And you're going to be an activator seeker. We can get something at 4,200 meters, which should be sufficient. The speed is 137 meters per second. And we have a missile that lives only for, what, 26 seconds? 20 seconds. These things are going to fire all at the same time. That's fine. If at least one makes it through, I would be happy. Now, I cannot put the winch on the third part as well. So I'm just going to go with the outsides. The uh, missile winches will allow it to be brought in faster. Desired range. Uh, I think we'd set that to 26. Yeah, I'm going to round that up to 25. <laughs> He said, and put it back at 26. Yep, and they're applied to all. Excellent. Okay, now to get back into the control center. Damn, I was really hoping to capture that thing. That is just not good play by me. But on the one hand, I don't want to risk, well, there are multiple facets to this. On the one hand, I'm going, you know what? I don't want to risk it. If I die, it's end of series. It's just the end of the play. I don't want that. If I don't uh, take enough of a risk, I won't get the craft. Then again, I'm currently in a pretty decent state. I have 162,000 materials. My craft's intact. Uh, I have plenty of weapon systems on board. So I do feel like I'm quite secure, and I maybe could take a bit more risk. There is something else out here, and that is a scuttle gun. Not a whole lot of supplies on there, but it might make for an interesting test target. It was over there, right? You know what, we can just have those missiles check it out for us. All the... <laughs> oh crap, the target distance is about... 4.2 clicks out. Which means I won't be able to get there. These missiles simply don't have the winch range to do that. The missile might be able to get there, but the winch won't. Yep. Lifetime ended. But they didn't get to their maximum range. So I need to change the way that these things are behaving themselves. Because I have 20 seconds of lifetime but 24 seconds of thrust. So we're going to up that a little bit. There. Makes them a bit faster too. 
All right, we are looking at something over to the starboard bow. There's the scuttle gun. There's something else here as well, I think. But where? I don't quite know. Okay. Let's go and get our man. Oh, there's definitely something else out there. There's something almost directly ahead. There. What is that? That's something throwing missiles out, isn't it? Scuttle gun, 3,400 meters out. That means that you're in range. Which is bad news for you and good news for me because I might be able to capture you. I don't really care what we're trying to target so long as these winches... Crap. So long as these winches work. The hell is that? It's a bit early for fireworks, so you're doing something else. There's also a Limulus over here. What are you? Not a lot of materials there. Both in the craft and in general. But it looks like the scuttle gun might be trying to avoid whatever it is that it's targeting or getting targeted by. Which I suspect might be missiles. Because these look like flares. Is that Limulus a submarine? Because I'm having trouble finding it with the railgun. Hmm. It is there. Yeah, it's a sub. Okay. It's a sub that flings missiles at people, apparently. Now, I don't have an... Um what do you call that? A super cavitation head on this thing, on this uh, railgun. But I can still maybe hit it. Yeah, see, there's constant missiles coming up. Now, at some point, my missile controller is going to go, oh, missile, <clears throat> and start shooting them down. The thing is giving itself away. At least I can winch in my target here. Yep, there come the missiles. There's my missiles catching the target. Target acquired. There's a really good chance that I'm not going to be the new favorite target of that submarine. That thing is annoying. <laughs> I'm shooting down the flares. That looks like a really sizable gun. Let's get rid of that. Before it's being used against us. Hold on. That's... Is that still attached? No, it's not. Catch it. Thank you. Where's that Limulus? Where's that up to no good submarine? Right in front of me. Right. Come on. Weapon one. Nope. Gotta be careful that I don't actually hit my own ship. Anyway, uh, this gentleman down here. Let's just see if I can find your AI. Cheat a little bit, I know. There's your propulsion. Where does scuttle guns save their AI? That's an ACB. Just a really large gun. So it has to be somewhere in here. 
Where is your AI, friend? How is this ship built? That's the props of my ship. That's that big-ass gun of yours. Cram gun, by the looks of it. So considering that this takes up all the space of the ship on the bow, your AI has to be somewhere in here. Right? Well, there's not even that much room for it. That's the engine. I suppose this is the back. Yeah, that's the scoop. Why is there a vertical prop? Is that for stability or something? That's uh, an EMP. Oh, we found it. Okay. So it's down there in the middle on the side. Yeah. All right, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to jump out. I'm going to try and get there. And I'm going to try and neutralize the AI. I really only have about, I think, 30 seconds. Something like that. Although this craft is really close. Now, I'm going to add a few more uh, of my Hearthstone extensions. Just to hope that by doing that, I'm uh, extending the sphere. Sphere of influence. All those missiles that you hear being launched, that's my uh, defense system. Because we are being targeted. Yeah, there's the target. Flares are coming up from that thing as well, so it's also knowing that it's under attack, or that the system is detecting missiles. Go, 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 go! Where is it? You're dying, yeah, I know. I'm trying to keep relatively close to my hearthstone. And here's the wheelhouse. But they put it underneath the wheelhouse. I suppose that would make sense. Is that it? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Do we have it? We have it. Okay, I'm now charging, which is excellent. So now I can get back. Acts of piracy completed. This is going to make for an interesting thumbnail, though. Uh, move here. <laughs> what are you doing there? What is happening here? Well, what's happening here is that this gentleman now is going to sacrifice all of the materials that it's carrying. So, show resources, um, keep nothing at all. I'm currently holding 154,000, so that should start getting transferred. Yep, 158. It has no materials, check. And now I can just uh, scuttle the scuttle gun. And take all the materials that were still left. Another 23,000, and I'm now at 181. Very nice. Okay. Um, I don't really feel like I'm going to be capturing that submarine. Which I suppose is still out here somewhere. That, uh, I think it was Limulus, was it called? Hello? Not behind me, that's for sure. I should be able to see it just there. Just by backtracking uh, from where the weapon systems are. Or from where the missile launchers are. Now, the Sona boys are going out. The Sona boys are immediately relaying to the torpedoes. Guys, there's a sub here. And the torpedoes should start getting towards the target. At least... If my ship is working as intended, it should. There you are. Limulus. That's incoming missiles and they're all getting killed off. What's your depth? Doesn't really say. 
Hold on, did I set my main weapon system to be torpedo killer or to be uh, anti-surface only? Nope. They're now engaging the enemy. So I guess I wasn't detecting it yet. That means that that Limulus is about to have a really rude awakening. Because as opposed to the one that torpedoes, it's now the one that's getting torpedoed. That's inbound missiles. And where here are my torps? Here. So this thing is going to get a decent charge of both high explosive and EMP. And considering it's a submarine, it's probably made out of a lot of metal. And a submarine versus EMP, probably not a good deal for the sub, that is. It's not having a good time. Health below 80%, dead. <laughs> Thank you. There is something else out there. And it's already doing some shooting. What are you? You just had a brush with death there. You don't even know it. Uh, did that kill it? No. Telemachus. 7,000 supplies, 19,000 supplies inside. Or 19,000 supplies to build it. So we're just going to blow this thing apart. Oh, it's one of those floating fortresses that I ran over the last time around. Right. Just uh, railgun it. Yep, that one's gone. And I think that is it for the red markers. I'm not seeing any other threats. There's probably about, what, 1,500 supplies in there? 2,000. Okay. Not as bad. Right. Decent episode. Um, I'm going to call it here. I hope you guys had fun with my attempts to capture enemy ships. As you can tell, or as you can tell it doesn't always work out too well. But um, I still enjoy the challenge. And I already have seen a comment from someone who said I have a way too easy time at this when I'm capturing other ships. I think he was able to get up to a million or something, a million supplies inside of four hours of playing just by capturing all the enemy ships. So that is uh, definitely something that I would like to try. But for now, not yet. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you soon for another episode.